In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get better and faster at playing two note per string licks. So when it comes to two note per string licks, this can be a problem area for a lot of people. Uh, two note per string licks are pretty tricky because they're changing strings at a much quicker rate because you're only playing two notes before you change. So there's less time to get into the groove before you've got to do another string change, right? So you really can burn through your stamina reserves pretty quickly with this stuff. So the thing to do with this is, again, separate your hands and see where the problem area is. So if you're at a tempo that you've been struggling to move beyond, let's say 120, like that, and you're wondering what to do next. So let's isolate the hands. So let's first make sure that the fretting hand can actually do what you're asking of it. So you need to do this. So just pick the first note and then do everything else, hammers and pulls, right? A variation on that is you can also pick the B string. So you could pick the first note, pull off, and pick the second note, pull off. Basically, it's about taking away the pressure of having to pick the lick and seeing if the fretting hand can keep up and do the job. But I recommend just picking the first note, really, if you can get away with that. And see if it can keep up with the timing. If it can't, then you know the fretting hand is the problem. And then you're going to work on that and, you know, speed bursts, reduce the notes, all of that sort of stuff you're going to do on that uh, and then build up your stamina with that hand as well. If it's not that hand and your fretting hand can do the job, then let's work on this. So one thing you can do to get good at two note per string picking without having to do too much work with a fretting hand is just to fret two notes on two adjacent strings. So for example, let's say it's the high E and the B string. So instead of going like that. Let's just pick two notes and then just pick one, two, one, two on each string. So you've got the down up and then you've got the down up on the B. So that way you can just focus on that picking motion without having to do too much work with the fretting hand. It stops your fretting hand from getting tired and it means you can focus more on the picking. So you can just go. Doesn't matter what combo of notes you choose. So the idea is that you're just taking away the pressure of having to do loads of stuff with the fretting hand and you're just able to focus on the picking motions itself with the picking hand. And that way you take away all of that um, struggle, the frustration and running out of energy with this, uh, with the two note per string stuff and you're just focusing on each hand and finding out which one of those hands is the one that needs the most attention and then sorting it out and then you can move on from there. So that's it for that episode, and I'll see you guys next week.